Have a question? Need advice? Hair will help you for a price. What in the world? Oh, I th I th I th <laughs> Intelligent answers from a hairbrain. Hair, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Rabbit, but if you want that question answered, you'll just have to wait your turn. Next, number 12. Number. You need to settle an argument for us. I say the tomato is a fruit. He says it's a vegetable. Of course it's a vegetable. You don't eat tomato pie or tomato jelly or tomato-filled fruit bars. Well, let's see what my big book of stuff you can eat has to say about this. No. Aha! The tomato is a fruit. Told you. Fine. But I still say tomato popsicles would taste terrible. Thanks for the smart answer, Hare. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All he did was look up the answer in this book. What's so smart about that? Well, for one thing, he was smart enough to know which book to use. Sharp as a tack, smart as a whip, that's me. I don't mean to brag, but like the sign says, I'm a real hair brain. I'm a real hair brain, clever witty on the ball. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm a know-it-all. The smartest of the smart, some call me brainiac. So ask me any question, there's no answer that I lack. He does not mean to seem vain, but he has got the smart. Our friend is a real hair brain, the sum total of his part. Wow, 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 wow. A paragon of wisdom, the epitome of wise. When you're as smart as I am, it's not easy to disguise. I really do not mean to brag, I know it's not polite. In fact, I know so many things, I'm really always right. Oh, he does not need to seem vain, but he has got the smart. His wit, insight, and wisdom are top of all the charts. Wow, 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 My friends, you flatter me. You all are too, too kind. Allow me, please, to repay you by using my key. This uh, smarty pants medal has made you a little too big for your britches. Oh. <laughs> hey, he should be proud of himself. Face it, hair's so smart, I'll bet he can't think of one thing he doesn't know. Oh, well, if you put it that way, wait a minute. Obviously, if he doesn't know something, he can't think of it. That's what you think. As for me, I think not. <laughs> hey, Caterpillar, my card, my card, and my, uh, card. Martell, award-winning smarty pants, you name it, I know it. If you're ever a confused Caterpillar, you know who to call. After all, there's nothing I don't know. Are you sure you're not being conceited? Ah, oh, no thanks, I'd rather stand. No, I said conceited. It means you think you're better than anyone else. <laughs> well, I was the only one to receive the Queen's Smarty Pants medal. You know, Caterpillar, being named a Smarty Pants has really changed me. Uh, I can see that. And I think you'd better listen to this story. Once there was a bright green chameleon named Casey. Casey's friends admired her beautiful green color, but Casey wanted everyone to admire her. So one day she heard some frogs say, what a beautiful yellow butterfly. Casey decided she needed to be yellow as well. Then Casey heard the butterfly say, what a beautiful blue bird. So Casey decided to turn blue also. Then Casey heard the birds say, 
What a beautiful pink and orange fruit! So Casey added pink and orange to her appearance. Changing into so many colors made Casey very tired, but she felt it was worth it if it made everyone admire her. When Casey's friends saw her, she asked them, How do you like all my new colors? Her friends didn't want to hurt her feelings, but they told her, With all those other colors mixed in, we can't see the beautiful green you once were. Surprisingly, Casey's feelings weren't hurt. Deep down, she liked being green best too. So from then on, Casey decided to be just herself. I see. So the lesson is, don't try to be something you're not. Hmm. Of course, it has nothing to do with me. I am a smarty pants, and that's exactly how I'm acting. <laughs> How true that is. Oh. Oh. I don't understand it. Hair never misses a tea party. Maybe he's lost. Well, that's never stopped him before. Maybe he's so busy answering questions, he doesn't have time for tea. Delivery for the Mad Hatter. Ugh. Hey, those are the books the hair was using to help him answer questions. Well, he's not using them anymore. Did he already go out of business? Oh, I told him he'd be better off setting up shop in a busy mall instead of out in the middle of the woods. Oh, I believe this note will explain. Oh, terrific. <laughs> oh, dear Hatter. That's me. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. The weather is nice here. Is the weather nice there? I was thinking it might rain, but then it didn't. I'm gift to that card. All righty. I am giving all my books to you. Who needs books when you're as smart as I am? Sincerely, the March Hare. Well, that doesn't sound very smart. To me, it sounds like he's being a bit conceited. Oh, come on. The hair isn't stuck up. He's just uh, sure of himself. Let me read the rest. P.S. I won't be at the tea party today because I'm going to be on my very own radio show. <gasps> Hair's on the air! He's hit the big time. And just think, we knew him when he was like us. One of the little people. And now it's time for Ask Smarty Pants. Here's your host, the original Smarty Pants, the March Hare. He's the hare who's on the ball. Smarty Pants, Smarty Pants knows it all. Hi, everybody out there in Radio Land. I know we've got lots of questions, so let's go to the phones. Caller number one, ask Smarty Pants. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Good question. Without an egg, there can be no chicken. But without a chicken, there are no eggs. However, since eggs are for breakfast, and since breakfast comes first, the egg came first. <laughs> Caller number two, ask Smarty Pants. Hi, could you tell me, what's the difference between a duck? What's the difference between a duck? Simple, one of its legs is the same. <laughs> Caller number three, ask Smarty Pants. Yes, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I'm sorry, but all woodchuck questions must be submitted in writing. Time now for this commercial message. When we come back, I'll be answering the age-old question, is it colder in the mountains than it is in the winter? He's the hare who's on the ball. Smarty Pants, Smarty Pants knows it all. <laughs> 